Hey there, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today welcome to the underside of my sink. Uh, countertops got installed yesterday. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, hint, um, <laughs> you saw the video of that being installed. I might do something here on the YouTube channel with that too. I'm not sure yet, but regardless, countertops are installed, which means it's now time to hook up the plumbing, get our sink working, get the faucet in. Um, so let's just get started. I have it all mocked up here. It looks like it's done, doesn't it, right? Um, I have all the pieces cut, I have it mocked up, but nothing's actually assembled, um, just kind of sitting here. So, a um, couple things. Uh, first off, um, I guess let me explain what we have going on here. Um, sorry if this angle is weird, I have a different lens than I usually use, so that hopefully you can see better. So, I guess we'll see what happens. But um, So, let me show you kind of what we have here. So, typical under the sink setup here. Oh, and before we get started, disclaimer, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I am definitely not a licensed plumber. So. If you're gonna do this yourself, this is not a how-to video, this is a how I do it video, so keep that in mind. So, okay, so trap over here, pretty typical. Um, two sink basins here, um, and they just come down. Um, this is what they call a, what is this? A flanged tailpiece comes out of here. Um, it screws into here, and then this is a slip joint here on both sides. Um, I don't actually know why there's a slip joint there. It's just how it's done, so whatever. Um, this over here is where the dishwasher can connect. Um, we'll get to that later. And then I just have them connected here to a T, goes into the trap, and then goes out. Um, in the back here, you probably can't actually see it that good. Let me pull it all apart here. Um, I actually have a mechanical vent here. I still have the sticker on it. Um, mechanical vent, and that is because we are in a kitchen island, and there's no way to run a pipe out through the ceiling to get ventilate to get fresh air into the system. Um, so that the trap works properly. So we have to do a mechanical vent, never done one of these before. So first time for that, there's a little flapper in there that, um, I don't actually know how it works. Uh, basically it's supposed to open up when water comes in, but then close or when air comes in and then close so that air can't get out. So that's kind of the game plan. So we don't get sewer gas smells in our kitchen. Doesn't sound like fun. So, um, so that's pretty much it for the drains. We'll get these all glued up here in a second, but first I need to connect the sink. So I already have the sink. Um, these tail pieces are all connected and I'm not gonna move those. Those are just gonna stay where they are. We'll school all the other stuff up later. But um, the sink itself is actually super simple. Um, you typically just set the sink in the hole and then there's like some kind of a little nut or something that you screw on there to hold it in. Um, this one had a nut and then two screws that went in. So super easy. Um, the hardest thing with sinks like this is just being able to reach them. So um, this wasn't too bad. The only thing left to do is hook up the water lines um, and they make that super easy too. They're already pre-attached. Pre um, this is a Kohler sink. So they're already pre-attached. All I have to do is just connect it to my shutoff valves here and I'm good to go. So I'm gonna do that a second while I have easy access and then we'll go ahead and put the rest of the plumbing in. Ugh. Like I said, access is the best part of uh, plumbing. All right, like I said, super simple, no big deal. Um, there is, it looks like you can see it, this one over here. This is a little atypical, this is for my dishwasher. Typically you just tee off of the hot water from the sink and run it to your dishwasher, but um, I actually didn't have the parts for that. Um, but I did have extra parts to run a new home run all the way back to my manifold, so that's what I did. So now I'll have my dishwasher will have its own unique connection. Uh, might be kind of nice in that I can get full hot water capacity to both my sink and my dishwasher, uh, dishwasher at the same time. Um, probably not gonna be washing dishes and running the sink at the same time too often, but hey, now I can. So um, that's that. So now we're gonna glue up all these pieces. I'm gonna glue up as many of them as I can not in place um, and then put them together and just glue up the last couple. So I can glue up this whole tree over here before the trap um, beforehand and then I can glue up all these beforehand too and then we'll just glue up the trap and slide that in the bottom. I think that's gonna work out the best. Um, all those are nice and straight in line. So actually those are the two pieces I took it apart in. So I'll glue up this whole piece here um, and then I'll glue up this piece here and then I'll just take this trap and slide it in um, when we're done. So that is the game plan. And if I can get this piece out, okay, there we go. Um, that goes in here. Okay, so I'm gonna glue these up, glue these up and we'll put them together. Also, one other thing I wanna know, um, this is under my sink where I'm probably gonna be able to see it. So I just wanna keep track of where the writing is on my pipes. And I wanna make sure that those are facing the back because I just don't wanna look at them. Same thing with this. This is a barcode printed on the um, elbow. And I originally had it in here like this, which you can see that. So I'm gonna flip it around. There you go, no barcode. Beautiful. 
So this little PVC primer, um, I like to just, I'm just gonna prime everything up first and then we'll just glue it up piece by piece. Okay, now the glue. Um, I don't know the right way or the wrong way to do this. I just follow the instructions on the can, which say to do the hub end first, then do the, I don't know, spigot end? I don't know what you call that. And then back on the hub end again, and then stick them together, hold them for a couple seconds. So that's what I'm gonna do. Whether it's right or wrong, no idea, but that's what the can says, so it's gotta be right, right? How's that look? That look pretty straight? Hopefully. Hopefully they're aligned. So that uh, they match up when I put them up here in a second. Guess we'll see. So I'm just gonna hold them for a second because I don't know if they're perfectly aligned. I'm just gonna hold them for a second and then I'm gonna put them in here while they're still damp, I guess. So that if they are misaligned, I can still move them around a little bit, so. And I am look at that, fits like a dream. That's what I like. So all these guys just screw in here like so. Tim, I'm not talking to anybody. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to the camera. Hi. My dog is barking at you. Okay, just dunk these guys up nice and tight. Um, if they leak, I guess you can hit them with a wrench, but I honestly don't think you need to because there's not really any reason it should ever leak. There's plenty of overlap, so who knows? Whatever. Like I said, not a professional. Okay, that one is good to go, I think. So now let's uh, do this big mama, this big mama jama, mama jama. I don't know what the phrasing for that is. Um, this one doesn't matter so much about the writing because it's gonna be in the back, but I'm still gonna do my best to make it so you can't see it. Um, one thing I did learn actually um, from my inspector, I did it wrong earlier. Thankfully he didn't make me change it, but um, when you do a T like this for a vent, it still needs to be running like the water would run, not like the air would run. So let me, how would I explain that? So I guess, hmm, this isn't a very good example, but in my example, my vent went like this and my vent came out over here. And then this was like my, just my drain pipe. My vent came out the side. So I had my T run the opposite direction. I had my T in like this, like how I thought the air should run. And he's like, no, that's not right. You need to run it how water would run, which that makes sense. I mean, you want the water to run down if any water gets in your vent, but so he didn't care too much, but just an FYI, in case you ever do this in the future and need to run a vent and the T always goes how water would run down. So there you go. Okay, once again, trying to make this relatively straight. What do you think? Is it straight? This little spigot, this little guy up here? I think they are. I don't know why I'm whispering. I have no reason to whisper. Okay, those are good to go. I'm gonna screw my, yeah, I'm gonna screw my vent in here. I 
think this is a screw in connection because these can fail and that way I don't have to cut pipe and stuff. I can just screw a new one in there. So pretty sure that's why that's screwed in. Who knows, just making that up. Okay, so back here, typically, um, I don't know if you can even see that or not. Right here, there's a hole goes through the back. You'd usually have a pipe sticking through that hole already and you would just connect your T or whatever into that. Um, I don't because I am kind of doing this backwards because I want everything to line up perfect. I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm doing it anyway. So I'm gonna pre-prime this little stuff sticking out here because I'm not gonna have enough room on the other side to prime, to prime that later. So I'm just gonna prime it now so it's ready to go. And then I will be good to go. Oh, my director's coming. Let's give that a second to dry because I don't really want to spill all over the inside of my cabinet, but. Okay, so now we just gotta make the last two connections. Just gotta connect the bottom here. Look at those actually lined up like perfect. Almost like we know what we were doing. Um, so you gotta prime these two and then prime this piece and we'll be good to go sorry i got distracted by a text message my boss is texting me he's working on a saturday i know right my wife just pulled up a chair and is sitting right over there it's kind of a little creepy she's just smiling at me laughing at me talking to you guys just a little excited I think she just wants to use her sink and have a dishwasher. It's been what, two years since you've had a dishwasher? In May, two years, yeah. Yeah, so like almost two years since we've had a dishwasher. So I think she's a little excited for that part. Okay, I'd say that looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. I think it looks pretty good. Um, so, and I'm, I'm sorry, I keep looking at the screen over there instead of you guys, and I'm sorry for that. It's That's like the rudest thing I could do, right? Not look into your guys' eyes, so I apologize. I'm just gonna hold this here for a second and I am going to, no one be all set, I think. So, just gonna finish this up. Okay, that should be set. Now I need to, I just did it again, see? I don't, I'm a terrible YouTuber, I guess. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna flip around to the other side now. We're gonna make that final two connections, um, connecting this into my rest of my plumbing. And then we will get the, dishwasher out I think and see if we can figure it out now we'll just test this first that's probably a better idea we'll hook up this connection then we'll test and make sure none of this stuff leaks and then we will work on the dishwasher so I'm gonna shut the camera off and we'll go on the other side all right we're on the other side of the island now um, this is that pipe we ran earlier sticking out right here uh, you can kind of see that maybe not the best angle but that's where it is um, and Stacy's downstairs put her to work um, she is holding up the pipe for me so that we can glue that so let me get these primed up a second and then we will glue them. Okay. I don't think I can reach that one. Let's see. Oh, look at that, I can reach it. Okay, you ready, Stace? Okay, just a second, let me get some glue on here and we'll jam her in there. Good job, buddy. Let's hold it for a second. Okay, you're good. Thank you. Can you come help me up here now? Okay, now I need her help up here because this pipe sticking out here is not quite straight and I can't quite reach it so I can have her jam the other side. We'll teach her, we'll show her how to do it. All right, well that, this little step out that we ran earlier sticking a little too close to that two by four, I cannot fit my elbow in there. So I'm just gonna move my two by four. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, the sink should be 100% hooked up. I'm gonna go turn the water on and we'll see what happens. Okay, water is turned on down in the storage room. 
Turn on these valves. That looks good. No drips. Okay, so they said to take this little guy off when you're doing it for the first time. Honestly, not sure why, but I did. So, so cold water. That's a good sign. Hot water. That's a good sign. We'll turn it back to cold here a second and check our drains. That's just all glue down there. That's all nice and dry. On that side, switch it over to this side once. It's totally splashing on my face. Uh, no drips down there. Let's go check the other side of the islands. No drips here. Okay, so now we're in the basement. This is where that pipe comes through right here. That's all nice and dry. Connects it over here. That's all nice and dry. I think we're good to go. Should we put in a dishwasher now? Well, spoke too soon. We got a leak right here. Um, I don't actually know where it's coming from. So let's see. Oh, it's coming from all the way up here. Pretty simple one to fix. Just this nut's gotta get a little tighter, I think. All right, I think we got our problem fixed here. Um, I had to put a little extra plumber's putty on the top side, um, basically right there on the strainer. Uh, and that fixed the problem. So I think we're good to go. Moral of the story, use enough plumber's putty. So now we gotta fill that hole right there with a the dishwasher. Okay, I got the dishwasher in place, just kind of slid into the hole. The drain hose comes pre-hooked up and I have to hook up a little right angle and then the water supply line. So um, let me kind of show you what we're doing here. So here is where that goes. Let me make sure you're in focus. So right here is where that drain hose comes out right here. And then this little port right there is where that right angle and that water line's gotta come out. So let me uh, hook that up once here a second. And oh, look at that angle. The camera will stay there. Boom. Okay. Now I need to just run this hose up here. Everything's a little more difficult with only one hand. And then this will go up in here. I don't actually have electricity yet for this. Um, my brother-in-law is an electrician. And he's coming this afternoon, hopefully to hook it up. So we can't actually test it in this video, um, but I can at least hook up the water and make sure it don't leak. So that is what we are going to do. Okay, so there's that line that we stuck through there. Just kind of gonna push that back through here a little bit so we can screw it in. Maybe. Sorry for the shaky camera extra action. So chance. Okay, it's all hooked up. Before we go any farther, let's hook up uh, or turn this on and make sure it doesn't leak. In case you want to go on the other side and make sure it doesn't drip on the other side. Give her a second. Uh, right where that silver hose connects with the dishwasher. Yep. Oh, I actually lied. I need to go and turn it on in the basement first. Okay, good to go. No leaks. Water is on. Just gotta hook up that drain line now. All right, I made that connection right here. You can see that drain line is on there. It's just a little spring clamp with a little screw in it. Holds it in. Good to go. Uh, and you're probably wondering, Nate, you look a lot different. Well, it's actually like seven months after I shot this sink install video. Um, that's why there's cups and there's uh, blender stuff under here and 
Uh, we have definitely moved into this kitchen. Uh, it's not done yet. As you can see, there's no doors on this cabinet, but I totally forgot to shoot the outro and then never edited the video. So I didn't know I didn't shoot it. So um, that is our kitchen sink <laughs> install. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, next video, which I actually just got done shooting, um, we're installing a whole house uh, reverse osmosis system. Um, that'll be coming out next. Hopefully you enjoy that one. Um, and there'll be lots more plumbing stuff coming up here too as well. Um, we kind of took the winter off, um, and kind of. We got work done, but nothing that was really interesting to show you guys. So um, we're getting a lot of progress done here now. We're hoping to be done actually in the next month or so. So um, I'll have lots more plumbing, plumbing projects and probably hanging light fixtures and I don't know what else you guys want to see. Let me know what let me know what else you want to see down in the comments. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Um, if there's a video you want to see about putting in a light switch or hanging a light or painting a wall or I don't know whatever. What else do you ever do in the house? Just let me know. I'll answer those for you. So uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.